The Black Talk Media Project, a U.S.-based nonprofit, has operated the premier online Black Talk radio network for nine years. The organization has helped independent Black media producers establish their own digital radio stations and platforms. However, it is time to expand our work based on the vision of founder Scotty Reed, a U.S. Army veteran and communication specialist who wants to build the Black version of national public radio with community talk radio stations and media centers across the USA. These stations and media centers will focus on developing local talk radio hosts, addressing local community issues, and providing classrooms to teach new media production. We can accomplish this goal without corporate and government grants, maintaining true independence. Donate to the Black Talk Media Project or obtain a subscription to the social media platform btrcommunity.com for just $24 annually. Help us establish new Black media for the new millennium. Greetings, Scotty Reed here. Black Talk Radio News, Black Talk Media Project, and the Black Talk Radio Network. I want to make a quick comment, do a quick commentary on talkers in the black community. And we don't need talkers. Now that sounds rich coming from somebody who's running a talk radio network. They may sound funny, right? Like like it's a joke. Hey dude, you run a talk radio network. You have a talk radio program. But at, at the same time, I'm also doing. I'm not just on somebody else's platform talking. I'm building platforms. I'm helping other people to build platforms. But this isn't about me, though. This is about one of my comrades in the abolitionist movement. Now, I just, I'm not even going to say no names, but I just read another article. It was posted to a platform that Black Talk Media Project built, btrcommunity.com. And the article that was posted, there was a person crying, whining about how they wasn't getting a bunch of money from white people and talking about that they are being punished because they talk about racism or they talk about inequality. But listen, talk is cheap. What are you doing to address any of these issues? Are you providing, if you don't have time to work on these issues yourself, what organizations are you supporting that are working on these problems, that are attempting to counter racism or to end slavery. Talk is cheap. Anybody can talk. We got people who brag about how many subscribers they got on YouTube or how many followers they got on Twitter or how many people follow them on Facebook, all white-owned platforms. And they ain't built nothing for themselves, nor are they partnering with black people on their own platforms. But again, it just pissed me off to see this person complaining and people buying into that. And when you check that person's track record, that's all they done is talk. They ain't built nothing. They ain't supporting no programs. They ain't putting no money behind nothing. Now, let me tell y'all about my, my, um, this guy's like a brother to me, and I've been knowing him and working with him since 2012. Y'all know him as the co-host and one of the producers of New Abolitionist Radio. And Max Parthas does not just come on Black Talk Radio Network once a week, and we talk and share stories and information and bring guests on to talk about prison slavery. No, this man be getting out there on the road, putting in work. He goes to these conferences. He goes to these community meetings. He goes to these events where we have people who have mainstream attention, and he puts real questions to them. He attempts to get them on the record of whether or not they are for or against slavery, or are they just talking, okay? As the as as you know, this religious book says, show me your works. Faith without works is dead. Talking without works is dead. Okay, we got people getting paid millions of dollars to talk, but then we get people putting in work who confront politicians 
and, and negotiate with these politicians to get our issues part of their political platforms and to pass laws. That's what Mac, Max Parthas has done. I have seen him done do this since I've been working with him in 2012. Now, people told him that, hey, we're building this abolitionist compound in Ohio. I ain't calling out no names or nothing. And we want you to move from where you are stable at right now. We want you to move up here and move into this building. And then Max does that. He takes them at, at his at their word. He believes that they're being sincere. And then he goes up there and ain't nothing ready. They still working on it, but it ain't ready. You didn't disrupt this man's life. He he lost the home that he was in. Then he end up homeless, having to live with a couple of his children for a couple of weeks. And thankfully, today he's moving into a new house that is is better and, and the property is bigger, and he says it's more affordable. But this man been stressed out. I didn't even know that he was homeless. For basically homeless, although, you know, he got family that he was staying with, but that wasn't his home. And I didn't even know this until last night. And I'm like, why you didn't tell, say nothing? And he was like, you know, didn't want to complain, didn't want to, um, you know, put stuff on other people's plate. And, you know, Max deals with depression just like I do, like many of us do living in this racist system. But it's especially stressful when you work on these issues every day, when you're curating information and disseminating that information, when you're calling people, when you're going to uh, conferences and stuff. That's stressful, man. That's very, very, very stressful. And so, you know, Max didn't even let nobody know. But we got all these people out here complaining, talking about I'm not getting this or I'm not getting that because I'm talking. But they ain't done nothing. They ain't putting in no work. All right. And that's that's a sad commentary on the on our community when we throw money at these talkers who ain't got no track record. Or putting in no work, they may have some grand ideals, and then when they grand ideals fall through, they want to blame the white man. Look, I've been on USA Inc.'s radar and the people on our network, especially Max. We've been on the U.S. government's radar for a very long time. We got former commissioners before they retired of the New York City Police Department uh, telling recruits that they view us as slave catchers. And every time something happens bad in the black community, police are usually involved, which is the truth. Where do you think they get? You think we ain't on these people's radars? When, when we have people following our network social media accounts, like the New York uh, Slave Catchers Association, and I'm talking about those that recently followed us as part of the correction officers um, union up there. These, these, we've been on these people radar for a long time, but you know what? We try to have our ducks in a row. We try to have our paperwork straight. We don't do things to, to give the enemy the rope to hang us with. But I, I'm just tired of people talking. You talking, 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 talking. You talk a good game. You talk about the solutions. You talk about what well, you talk about the problems. You talk about the solution, but then you ain't doing nothing to implement the solution. I'm just so tired of it, man. I'm so, and I'm pissed off because Max was homeless and all this work. And, and then I can't even pay him because I can't even pay myself because we barely have enough donations coming in the Black Talk Media Project to maintain what we got, let alone expand it. But it's been by the grace of God that we've been able to do our work. All right. So I, I'm just hey, time out for talking. We need more doers. And Max Parthas is a doer. And I'm pissed off because of people not supporting people who are putting in work. This is Scotty with a Black Talk Radio commentary. Peace. I'm out.